Hello, everybody. This is Nantox, and I'm back for another factual reaction. And uh, this time, it's for a trailer called Everything You Need to Know About Injustice 2. Now, for the record, I made a video hard working on Saturday called Something for Everyone. So we're going to see how similar these two trailers are. If this trailer is what I think it is, we're going to find out how close it is. Quick PSA before I get to the reaction. I put out a video about like my health issues and what's been going on. And there's been a lot of good feedback. And I've been seeing a lot of people say that they're going to get checked up now. And you know they haven't been to the hospital in a while. They've been kind of ignoring small issues. That's really cool. I'm happy that you know, that could have helped, you know, even if it helps one person because, you know, I had a, what I thought was a minor issue and I didn't take it as serious as I probably should have. And now I'm, you know, paying the consequences of that. So, you know, life is short. Get checked out. If you have an issue, don't brush it aside like I did. Learn from my mistakes. And, uh, okay, bummer stuff down. Let's get hyped. We are one week away from Injustice 2. Have it a bit early. Follow my channel. You might see some good stuff. And uh, let's get it on. Let's see what this trailer is all about. Okay. T for teen. I didn't put that in my trailer. Born out of tragedy and destruction, Injustice 2 begins in a fractured Ooh. universe where bonds are broken and every alliance is thrown into war. Okay. Started off like I did with the story mode. Of course. I don't have the footage they're going to have, obviously. Injustice 2 opens in the wake of the dismantled Justice League as Batman and Superman clash for control. Ooh, the duff! But the war has only just begun. Possible main. I am Brainiac. As the expansive storyline unfolds, you'll battle your way across the DC universe. And the decisions you make will have earth-shattering consequences. That's who Aquaman? They murdered that dude! Injustice 2 has a massive roster of characters, each playable and fighting for their cause. Allow me to give you a proper demonstration. I use that same transition. Superman and fight fire with fire. With oh, allies like Robin, man. Wonder Woman, Cyborg, and Black Adam, you wield devastating power. That looked like Inception. The Dark Knight and fight alongside Harley Quinn, Black Canary, and a coalition of freedom fighters. One more dead human. Quiver's not empty yet. Sometimes Damn. it's better to be. Story mode looks so good. Battle alongside Gorilla Grodd society with Catwoman, Bane, Captain Cold, and other mercenaries. No wonder Brainiac wants you, dead or alive. Oh shit. Jordan. Or go it alone. There are plenty of wild cards in the mix. Supergirl, Swamp Thing, and dozens of other characters, including the mastermind huge. himself, Brainiac. <laughs> Who you choose to enter the arena with is only the beginning. Injustice 2 oh, introduces man. Gear, custom equipment that allows you to <sighs> there goes all free time. Look of your favorite character. Just gone. Am I making you look bad? As if. Every battle brings the opportunity to earn new gear. From useful stat augments to impressive oh, special moves and abilities, Injustice 2's gear system is an invaluable element of that the game experience. That is God tier. I love that. That look. There's a whole world beyond the massive story campaign. Game is huge. The multiverse is designed for players that need a new challenge. Each multiverse contains modifiers that change the way the game plays. As you climb up the ladder, the challenge increases. And so do the rewards. Multiverses are always changing. Hourly, daily, and weekly challenges all present new opportunities to grow your characters and earn brand new gear. You'll regret this. But beating you His is voice so is actually modified. That's awesome. Okay, brand new stuff. Join a guild with friends or other players to further your experience and earn exclusive rewards through daily and weekly challenges. Whether you've joined a guild to gain experience faster or to dominate the leaderboards with an elite crew, 
you'll find that victory through collaboration proves to be exponentially more satisfying. No more That's Mr. awesome. Boy, That's really, really cool. Oh, mobile game, of course. With Injustice 2 Mobile, the arena is always at your fingertips. Complete with the cinematic storyline from the console version of the game. What? Fight like never before with a brand new dynamic fighting system. Employ jumps, ducks, and projectile attacks as you battle your way through endless challenges. That's kind of crazy. Character shards give you a new way to play, raising your level and unlocking unique character talents. This will haunt your dreams. Complete the right challenges, and you'll even unlock gear for the console version of the game. Whoa, okay. With all of the characters, action, and gear available on console, the Injustice 2 mobile experience is the perfect way to keep the fight alive. What is that? Is that a new super? The war ahead in Injustice 2 bears immense consequences. Now is the time to seize true power, shape your battle, and dominate the competition. One week away, baby. We're in there. Mobile game coming out Thursday. I might get it early. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully I can. Hopefully everyone can. Um, the guilds that's actually really cool i will definitely be making an ntf gaming guild so those of you out there who watch my videos you don't have a big group to play with you know i'll set up a guild i'll invite all you people in there who want to join just have a good time like we're never going to be pro level players but for those of us who just want to have fun you know smash some stuff get some rewards i'll have a guild set up for that um yeah it looks great you know like the the way fighting games work these days Netherrealm kind of set the bar and they keep raising it because you can no longer have a fighting game come out without all the the extras. You can't have something without a story mode or you can't have you know not having an arcade mode or unlockables or you know there's a lot of stuff out there for people to play that don't play online. There's majority of us don't play super hardcore ranked online battles like I do, but I know that for every one of me there is there's probably like five or six more that don't care about that they just want to either play locally with their friends or just put the computer on normal and easy and just have a good time you know using your favorite comic book superheroes and doing super moves and it's important to take that into consideration uh i actually think tekken 7 also looks really promising because they're seeming to learn those lessons and they're like, you know, let's have a story mode, let's have the arcade mode. And Namco's been pretty good about that. It's just lately other fighting games seem to be lacking, but with, you know, Guilty Gear, Tekken, even Blaze Blue, really everything except Street Fighter V, honestly. Uh, even Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is going to have a story mode and arcade mode and all that stuff. So it's good to see that companies are realizing what people come to for fighting games. It's not just the Evo championship player. And that's why I made the video I did because I think it's important for people to realize that you don't have to be like Sonic Fox or one of those pro players to appreciate a good fighting game. You, you should be able to just hop in never having played a fighting game before and at and the very least smash some buttons and have a good time. So I think it's important that NetherRealm keeps addressing both sides of that fence and it only helps the game grow, which gives us more content, which allows them to keep making bigger and better games. And so I'm really happy to see how fully featured it is, how fully featured Guilty is, Tekken 7 is, and I'll be covering a lot of that stuff. My channel is normally a variety channel. I cover every and every anything. However, I will be doing a heavy focus on fighting games because that is still my passion. That's a favorite genre of mine. So I will be playing a lot of Injustice. I'm gonna play a lot of Tekken. A lot of guilty i'm gonna just really try to focus on bringing out good content for you guys combo videos tips and tricks stuff like that i know there's gonna be a lot of people doing that but i really really want to commit like really hard to trying to get good at injustice better than i was in the first one so thanks for watching i know this is long-winded and keep going on and on but if you're still here i appreciate it remember get checked out psa life is short love somebody or something and go for it my name is Nam Talks. 
I bow to you. I'm so close to 500 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thanks you all for watching my videos and being on this epic injustice journey with me. We're almost there, guys. We're so close. Ooh, seven days. Later, everybody. Wait, oh, that one. Adios.